despite a disappointing end to the season, the football team is going bowling. The Tar Heels will take on Christian McCaffrey and the Stanford Cardinal in the Sun Bowl in El Paso, Texas on December 30th. The game will air at 2 p.m. on CBS. Carolina is 2-2 two and two all time in the Sun Bowl and Stanford was ranked at 7th at one point this season. To preview the matchup, let's bring in football analyst Paul Bean. Paul, what's the key to the game for the Heels? Peyton, the key to this game isn't a secret. The defense has to find a way to silence the Wildcat. Stanford running back Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey is absolutely electrifying. He's racked up 1,639 rushing yards and 13 rushing touchdowns on the season. He was a Doak Walker Award semifinalist this year, which goes to the nation's best running back. Oh, and let's not forget, he was a Heisman finalist last season, finishing second to only Alabama running back Derrick Henry. McCaffrey is incredibly talented, and Stanford's success is almost entirely based on how McCaffrey performs. In the 11 games he's played, Stanford is 8-3. In the eight wins, he's averaging about 180 rushing yards and almost two rushing touchdowns per game. In the three losses, McCaffrey averages just 59 rushing yards per game and has zero touchdowns. Now that we've talked about the immediate future for the Tar Heels, let's look a little deeper into our crystal ball and talk about the quarterback situation for next year. As of right now, all signs point to Mitch Trubisky entering the 2017 NFL Draft as ESPN's Mel Kuyper Jr. projects him to be the top quarterback taken in this year's draft. If Trubisky does leave, UNC will be a front runner to land Notre Dame transfer Malik Zaire. The initial report on Zaire was that Notre Dame told him he couldn't transfer to any school on Notre Dame's schedule next year, with the exception of North Carolina. Now the report is that Zaire will get an unconditional release, so he'll be able to go anywhere he wants and will be available to play right away. While this new report hurts UNC's chances to get Zaire, the heels still are high on his list of landing spots, and he'd be a perfect fit for the Carolina offense. Well, I'm sure Coach Fedora would love to have him in Carolina Blue next year. That's football analyst Paul Beam live in studio. Thanks, Paul.